Yes, I like seriously. I would like someone to tell me what is the importance of the nets. Like those people who always put on nets for us when they're doing these short piece. Like what is the importance? Because I really don't understand why they do it. Yes, yes, uh, for the first time, this is here by Clippers. Welcome to our tutorial. And uh, if I get back to the first question that I asked, like, sometimes I don't understand, like, why do people put on the net when they are doing this short piece? So uh, if there is anyone there who can explain that to me and how it helped uh, that person, then... Uh, I will also know why because I always ask myself, you know, like we always plate our hair like this one. You find someone is plating it and uh, uh, this person would want to stay with her hair like for two months. So I don't know if if she's going to stay with that hair for two months. Can she also still put that net or oh, the one of uh, uh, the net is not supposed to to stay for this we like it's, they're not supposed to 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 stay with with the hair pieces for all that long so please yeah i still need that question you can go in our uh comment section please try to explain to me maybe i don't understand that so today we're going to see how we can do the short piece brush and this time around we are doing it with this person with short forehead and now these are the things that I've been explaining to you that most of the times it is hard to play it uh, when it comes to a short piece. Uh, those people with short foreheads, there is the way you need to have that art when you're doing it. It's not just a matter of like you will be, uh, you you'll just do it like you've been doing it. No, there is some uh, art that you will have to add on when you're going to be uh uh, 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 doing these short piece to the person with short forehead. So as usual, when we are starting from down here, we always want to use that one layer because now, um, when you try to look at this short wave, when we are doing it, we always cut mostly the behind part. We cut it, uh, we cut it so much so. There's no need of putting a lot of the of the weave since we are going to overcut there. So it is or oh, you need just to focus like in front, the two uh the either in in front and then uh in uh, the uh, the corner of somebody, uh, the corner of somebody, the corner of the head, then uh, uh the sides and even here uh that one you just have to put like uh. uh most of the side you just have to put like one layer one layer because we always cut even the sides so you always have to focus mostly here here it is very very important because it is the corner of somebody and i know you're going to it's not like you always uh, be having people come with these uh, uh corners like of the head shape when they have their corner no that those people you find like their head are very they are, they are flat behind they are flat so it will be um, you will need to add more layers of the weave so that you can achieve that corner that shape for that for somebody because it won't look nice when it is also flat behind so you should always know that yeah and uh, most of the times when i'm doing these short pieces i always want to advise you guys that it is not like um, uh, i cannot teach you more i cannot teach you everything in this short piece but uh, what you can always do is to understand when you understand it but understanding will come from the words that i'm telling you so uh, you just need to listen to the words so that you can understand how to do this with because um uh it is full of art like you need that art and understanding how you're going to manage someone is just going to 
uh just add on like maybe the way you're saying how i'm saying because now saying it is very simple but you just have to know uh how you're going to achieve uh the the real the real the look uh, of somebody so that one will always depend on their foreheads and uh, the head shape you understand yes now those ones who are really flat behind and you will need to add on uh, like five layers when you reach on that um, that line so you just have to need to understand after looking at somebody's head shape and then another thing is um oh uh, we need to make these corners packed you know so like the way you had seen how they are packed you need to make them packed because i've seen this problem with some people they do these the, these corners of a short uh, the hair should uh, the, the short piece and uh, that's why i think they even bring uh, the net to put on others they say that it protects the the hair from the hair from the weave but i really need more explanation about that so um uh, but mostly i would need like at least make your corners very packed so that it doesn't bring those uh spaces when you you have cut this short way because it is already it, it looks bad like after cutting this short wave and when you have already overspaced the cornrows so you find it looking very ugly so you need to overpack this uh cornrow so that uh, you also you, your wave looks that nice so this is how we just cut it and i told you there is no any way i can teach you how to cut this wave no i cannot teach you that i will always have to explain so that you can get to know because it's all about having the basics on this so the basics will be that we always focus on cutting here where i'm cutting right now down here and then that's how we move up to the on the sides still you just have to cut their flat so that you can achieve the shape but you always focus on this corner and then in front you understand the front but always this side you always cut it flat up to uh, the, 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 the corner of the forehead in front yes you always cut them very small and most of the time this uh this channel <laughs> the channel is always hard for them to cut it to look like this most people don't know how to cut here they really don't know yeah here but uh it is really very simple and now uh, since she had got um a short forehead you know i told you that short foreheads it is very hard to 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 do the french cut style so that's why I always cut it up to down. Like I always overcut it so that it can be like a brush, a brush shape. Like it is all equal in a sense so that somebody can look that nice. But it, it is very hard like for you to do like a French cut, you know, like that style when up is big and the side is very small for someone with short forehead. So when you're done with that, this is the Morse holding spray. Uh, the one i have applied this will always apply it if you just maybe you want to style your weave there's a certain way you want to style it or maybe you want to put some waves not leaving the the normal curls of the weave that hard you can always put the most uh but though i wouldn't advise it like uh, most of the times to like everyone to do this no uh because um there's the way it loses uh it is texture yeah it's sexual looks something else so you might find like uh, <laughs> you're trying to do this knowing that maybe it will go it will get back to its texture and you find it is not so this is like a holding spray so when it holds yeah the wave is going to be held so now yeah be careful when it comes to that first know what you suppose like what you want really and then you choose to use this so uh, most of the basics that i would say here make sure that your corners are very packed yes and make sure that you observe someone's head shape someone head shape because there are those styles that are not going to be very perfect on those head shapes so if a client maybe doesn't know you will have to explain to them 
that you give them the option of what they can choose so this is what i got for you hair by clippers and we still continuing with our tutorials for now i'm signing out may god bless you all Jangu, tu t'as un